MP Lab X is a project-based environment, which means we no longer have a separate concept of projects and workspaces as we did in MP Lab 8. When you first set up a project, you're prompted to choose the device, debug, and build tools you wish to work with. The new project wizard will present you with a selection page for each of these. Once the project has been created, you can modify your selections or specify specific configuration information from within the project properties window. Although you've selected a specific tool, no interaction will take place until it is needed. For example, the compiler is only called when you build a project. Similarly, no connection to the hardware tool is established until you debug your project or program the device. When you click on the program device buttons or the debug project button, the IDE will execute the make program to ensure that your project is built with the most current source code and project settings. Only then is a connection established with the hardware tool and the debugger programming session started. This can be referred to as having an active tool connection. If you view the project dashboard, you should now see that there's an active connection with the tool. When you end the debug session, the connection will become inactive. So now that the device is being programmed, you can see over here in the dashboard on the far left at the bottom, we can see we have an active connection with the real ice. And again, this will stay active until we end our debug session. Debug sessions are ended by clicking on the red square icon up in the toolbar. Under some circumstances, you may wish to keep the connection with the tool active, even when you halt the debug session. To do this, you can select an option under the Tools Options menu, then select the Embedded icon and the Generic Options category, and then check the Maintain Active Connection to Hardware Tool checkbox. Now once the tool's created a connection on the first debug session, halting and stopping concurrent sessions will maintain an active connection to the hardware tool. You can also test your tool connection by selecting the Refresh Debug Tool Status icon available in the project dashboard display. This will create a connection and read the device ID plus the target voltages. For MPLAB XTV, I'm Rob Ostapik.